Okay, so look, I'm about to prepare myself a little snack. And you guys know, lately I've been super into, you know, stuffing my meals, my snacks with vegetables. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to put some bell pepper and some red bell pepper, some orange bell pepper, some onion. I have the chopped uh, garlic. We have diced jalapeno and we have some secret sauce, teriyaki sauce. There's lime, ginger, and I believe honey and soy sauce. If there's something else, it's a secret. So then I'm going to top it with a little spinach. But before I do that, I'm going to make myself a little tea. I'm going to make myself a little tea because you guys know I love tea and today i'm going to be reinventing myself because guess what every day is the first day of your life every day you wake up and you're blessed to be alive is the first day of your life so let's see what we can do here with a little tea that brew up while that is brewing let's get to chopping okay so let's chop this and you know I always save the seeds from my bell peppers because I like to grow uh, vegetables in the summer. So I take the caps off and I strategically cut the peppers out. A little turn, a little twist, like a light bulb. And I put that over to the side so it can, you know, dry. Put it in a window. This is an example of one that, you know, from last week that I let dry out. So then I'll just take the seeds off of that and have them germinate. And because I don't like to waste any part of my vegetable, the little cap that I cut off, I just cut around that and I save I saved the rest of it. So we have the pepper. Cut the little excess off the top of the cap. Because I'll be capping. No, I don't know what that means. I'm sorry. That's a millennial expression, maybe. I'm not sure. Anybody want to leave in the comments exactly what capping means? I would appreciate it. I've heard it. I'm just not sure what it means. Okay, so I'll put my little uh, peppers in my chopper. Excuse the noise. This right here, to me, it just saves me so much time, so much physical. Not that I need that, but I mean, I kind of like the fact that they're, you know, cut to... A specific size and something else I've noticed with what I've been eating it's like I eat a, a full bell pepper with every meal a full pretty much a full bell pepper with every meal and almost a half an onion so I'm pretty sure I'm getting my recommended daily allowance of vegetables Pretty sure of it. Put my little, put my little peppers in there. Chops it up right away. Again, sorry for the noise. But this is the best sound ever. Oop! And my tea is done. 
brewing. So now we have basically a whole bell pepper because I, I did a half of a, a orange and a half of a red. Wipe this up. And I'm cutting directly on my counter. Yes, I am. But in the words of Tabitha Brown, that's my business. <laughs> I love her. She is she's phenomenal. So I will cut. Uh, I guess this is about a, I don't know, maybe an eighth of an onion. Not an eighth, a fourth. About a fourth of an onion. That might be closer to a third. You know? Take the skin off. Bam, bam, bam. I cut it one time. I put it on a little choppy choppy. Bam, chopped up. One more again. Bam, chopped up. I don't have to worry about cutting my fingers. And so I have that. So that's chopped up. And this is what it looks like. Now if that don't look delicious, I don't know what to tell you. I do not know what. Woo, my eyes are burning. Okay. Woo. My, oh my gosh. I should have lit a candle, you guys. They say if you light a candle when you're cutting onions, it'll keep your eyes from watering. I should have did it. Okay. So, I'm going to put half of my noodles in here. And I'm going to put my vegetables in the middle. Oh, goodness. Let me not forget. Let's not play these games. Okay. I'm going to put my jalapeno. A spoon of jalapeno. The juice. And a little juice of the Mount Olive diced jalapeno peppers. Oh, I freaking love them. And I got the Bellevue diced garlic. And I put about a little tiny baby spoonful of that. Oh, my eyes are still watering, y'all. Put that in there. Put that in there. No need to, like, really stir it up too much. Put that. Put the rest of the noodles in there. And then the rest of the vegetables. Oh goodness, oh goodness. This bubble is full. And my eyes are killing me here. Okay. Woo! And so now I'm going to. Sorry, I'm rubbing my eye. Um, put some water in. Because, you know, gotta got to hydrate the noodles. Oh, that's the dryer. The dryer in motion. Put some pepper in here. And a little bit of salt. Seriously? Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay. Ooh, that's plenty. Do a little stir, stir, moisten everything in here. And then I will, ooh, I know you can't smell it. Kind of don't want to smell it because then your eyes will be burning. But look at that. That looks so good to me. So I'm put it in the microwave. Put it in the microwave on three minutes and let that go. Um, 
now I'm going to wipe this up a little bit save that spoon okay so while we're while we're waiting for that let me show you what what I usually do once I get the peppers you know dried out so as I showed you where'd it go where did it go oh so as I showed you before I let the peppers dry out so it'll it'll go from you know this and as it dries out it'll go down go down to this reduces all the water out so then I'll take you know take the seeds off basically just scraping the seeds off of the actual pepper and they'll go everywhere so I'm gonna just do a few <laughs> I mean there's still plenty of pepper seeds there then I'll take the seeds and put them on the paper towel which I could have just scraped them onto the paper towel in the first place hello hello okay so we take the peppers we put them on the paper towel we fold the paper towel in half maybe in a fourth so that it can really be moistened and then we can moist oh where it happened okay kind of want them to be spread out a little bit because once they germinate and start you know growing kind of want them to have a little bit of room okay so we'll close it we'll fold it they're still spread out because we're not going to let that open back up and then we can pour a little water to moisten moisten the seeds okay then I have these bags sure fresh probably from the Dollar Tree um, these are the snack size bags really tiny and I don't know if you can see no you can't see can't see through it but then I'll put that in there like so push it in push it in so now it's flat seal it up you know what I'm gonna pour a little bit of that water off I don't it it doesn't need to have excess water it just needs to be moist and seal it up because guess what that's called the greenhouse effect it's gonna it's gonna get heated up and it's going to germinate okay so let's look at this let's look at this yummy yummy for uh, my tummy okay so let me get a fork. So here's my fork. Now, if we look at this, it's not ready. It's not ready. But it looks good. Now trust and believe. I had this la I made this for myself last oh. night. And so um the, we we we're not gonna have runaway stuff no 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 okay so we done saturated anything that may not have been saturated yet I'm gonna put in this little seasoning packet which you know ain't nothing but pepper I mean salt 